Beta Technologies is one of many startups working to certify electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft to sustainably transport passengers and cargo. Among the front runners vying to be first to get their eVTOL aircraft to market, Beta Technologies is taking a unique approach. It's starting off with something a little more conventional. Meet the Alia CX300, Beta's electric conventional takeoff and landing, or CTOL, aircraft. It's nearly identical to Beta's Alia 250 eVTOL model, minus the vertical lift propellers. This means it needs a runway to take off and land, whereas the eVTOL can utilize smaller spaces like helipads. The first production Alia CX300 aircraft recently rolled off the production line in Vermont and made its first flight. That flight was piloted by Beta's founder and CEO, Kyle Clark, who also happens to be a test pilot. This was the first Alia aircraft to fly with Garmin's G3000 Prime integrated flight deck. Garmin introduced the new touchscreen avionics suite in October, and Beta was the first company to put it in an electric aircraft. Beta is already building both versions of the aircraft, but they haven't been certified for commercial service. If all goes according to plan, the conventional model could be certified and in service by the end of 2025 followed by the eVTOL model about a year later. Certifying both an electric airplane and an eVTOL wasn't always Beta's plan. The company originally set out to develop just an eVTOL aircraft. For testing purposes, they built a full-scale prototype in a CTOL configuration. This allowed them to start testing their design in crews before maturing the vertical flight capabilities. Beta racked up thousands of flight hours with this airplane before the first true eVTOL prototype achieved a full transition flight meaning it transitioned from hover to cruise. Meanwhile, Beta's eVTOL customers really liked what they saw with the conventional prototype. So much that some didn't feel the need to wait around for vertical lift capabilities. They just wanted small electric aircraft, sooner rather than later. Electric airplanes are much simpler to certify than eVTOLs, which represent a totally new category of powered lift aircraft. So Beta made the pragmatic decision to go ahead and commercialize the CTOL. Beta's customer base consists mostly of helicopter operators, including some aeromedical providers. United Therapeutics plans to use Beta's aircraft to transport human organs bound for transplant surgeries. UPS plans to use the aircraft for middle mile cargo logistics. The US military is also looking into possible defense applications. To support the rollout of these electric aircraft, Beta is also building a network of charging stations at airports and military bases around the United States. Dozens of these chargers are already online. Beta plans to have about 150 charging stations up and running by 2025, when the first Alia aircraft could enter service. If you liked this video and you want to learn more about the cutting edge of aviation technology, check out more Future Flight content at AINonline.com slash Future Flight.